Tonight I'm actually going to use the George Foreman grill in the searing function to go ahead and make a New York strip steak. Now I went ahead and let this preheat. The 500 is still blinking, but it beeped as if it was ready, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. I'm a little confused by that, but you can hear the sizzle there. So I have it already um, room temperature, the steak I mean, and I've gone ahead and put on my own combination that I like to use is spices, which is just paprika, garlic, salt, and a little bit of sugar, and I've sprinkled that on. Now, supposedly the way the sear function works on here is that you let it, um, you turn on the temperature that you want, which I've chosen 400, and once it beeps at the 400 preheat, letting you know that it's ready, you push the sear button, and then it will automatically um, heat again to the 500 degrees for 90 seconds, and then it's supposed to turn back down to the 400 degrees automatically that you preset it for and that's supposed to give a nice crispy uh, sort of seared crust to that so it went ahead and beeped once it reached the 500 degrees I'm assuming but it is still blinking so we're gonna see if it turns itself down in 90 seconds to that 400 degrees the machine is now on 400 and we're gonna lift it and see oh I can see the nice caramelization we have on there from that sear setting I'm going to go ahead and turn it down and uh, let it go for a few minutes and then we're going to go ahead and get that steak off. Go ahead and pull the steak off and I'm going to go ahead and let it rest up to the side. And here's a nice thing about the George Foreman Evolve grill. I'm going to quickly wipe this grate off, the lower grate, while it's still warm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually remove it. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to put this bake pan on here and get that heating up to about, let's see, 325 maybe. Because I'm going to go ahead and cook some mushrooms to put on top of my steak. Okay. It's gone ahead and beeped, so it's preheated to the temperature I wanted it to be. And I've added a little bit of oil in here. I'm going to go ahead and put my mushrooms right in there. Now um, what I usually like to do with mushrooms, and these are cremated mushrooms by the way, um, is I'll usually put a little bit of uh, maybe red wine in here and sort of uh, cook them in there with that and put it on a steak. But I don't have any red wine at the moment so what I'm going to do is just use a little bit more of that um, seasoning that I make right in there. And you don't want to put too terribly much oil in there because you really don't want it to soak up into the um, mushrooms, which tend to act like sponges, but I do want to just get them frying up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cook up the mushrooms, and then we'll check them in a minute. Just a few minutes, and we're going to go ahead and check. I think these are done. I went ahead and added a uh, wee spot of uh, butter to that, just a little. And I'm going to go ahead and get them out of there and get them on the steak. Now you can see just how beautiful and pink that that steak has come out. So did a great job. I'm going to go ahead and get some of these delicious mushrooms on here. I think this is going to be just delicious. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to make a salad. And I'm going to put a salad right here. Youch, kind of hot. I'm going to put a salad right here and go ahead and have my dinner. So that steak, New York strip steak done on the George Foreman grill. So here it is, my salad and my steak, and I'm ready for dinner.